Hi there, I'm John from Essex Wildlife Trust. And I'm Harriet. <coughs> and that's Fern. We've come out for a walk this morning with the dog to look at some hedgerows and how they're a real hero in the countryside. Harriet, why do you think hedgerows are so important for wildlife? Um, well, they're important for birds, bugs, foxes and hedgehogs and loads of other things. That's spot on. They're a great source of shelter and food. And butterflies and bees. That's right. It's a beautiful hawthorn in flower. Now in spring, bees and butterflies, the early risers, flock to the hedgerows and their early flowers of the hawthorn and the blackthorn. They feed up on the pollen and nectar. The birds flock for the cover, make their nests looking for a mate. What's Harriet found? Caterpillar. I don't want to touch it. Oh, beautiful caterpillar. And there's one here as well. You never know what you'll find in a hedgerow. I think they like this. Beautiful tree. lichen. I don't know if you can hear the bees, but there's a low humming buzz. In the late summer and autumn, hedgerows, bramble and ivy provides vital food for queen bumblebees that must fatten up and hibernate over the winter. Some animals and plants that once lived more widely in our landscape now only survive in and around our hedgerows. They're really important for connectivity and act as highways for animals linking up fragments of habitat across the landscape. That's why they're so important in living landscapes. Harriet, what do you think living landscapes are? I think living landscapes are landscapes that are all connected and animals can move freely around in them and catch food. Excellent. Living Landscapes is the Wildlife Trust's vision for landscape scale conservation across the UK, linking up core habitats and providing refuges for wildlife across the landscape. We want a landscape that functions at an ecological scale, so there's space for our nature to recover. Our landscape has become increasingly fragmented, resulting in islands of habitat, which are becoming squeezed and more vulnerable to disease and climate change. The nature reserves we've saved are vital refuges for wildlife, but alone they're not enough if nature is going to recover. We need to create living landscapes where core wildlife habitats are bigger, better managed and more joined up. By restoring connections between these areas, the species living within them can move through the landscape more easily. That's why a healthy network of hedgerows is so important. Hedgerows have a host of other benefits to people and to the environment. They reduce soil erosion from both wind and rain, and this also helps to reduce pollution from runoff containing nutrients and chemicals. Hedges can reduce the need for pesticides by being a habitat for beneficial insects, which spread out into fields and feast on crop pests. In upland areas, hedgerows can reduce the risk of flooding by slowing the flow of water off the land, helping infiltration and sucking up water from the soils. Hedgerows are able to store carbon, something which is becoming increasingly important in this climate emergency. Hedgerows are great for pollinating insects, particularly when paired with a good wide margin. As you can hear, hedgerows are alive with bird life at this time of year. Hedgerow corridors are a highway for many species, but can also be used by birds, bats to navigate the countryside. Hedgerows and connectivity aren't only important in the countryside. Urban hedgerows are just as important for wildlife and for people as many of us have come to realise over the last few weeks. To be able to walk, run or cycle beside a hedge, bursting into life in spring and alive with birdsong can be great for your mental health. Essex is under huge pressure for development. 
due to its location close to London, and as the demands made on land for housing, commercial development, transport and intensive agriculture have increased, so the space available for wildlife has decreased. Too often hedgerows are removed with little thought of the habitat that will be lost or what will replace them. That's all we've got time for today. Until next time, stay safe. And stay wild and stay alert. Yeah, because you never know what you might spot in a hedgerow. Bye-bye.